Um. <laughs> I'm trying to decide on how I want to read stuff and do stuff tonight. Alright, yeah. <clears throat> so, I think we're gonna read some of the story, just to set it up a little bit. Um, so, uh, the ship is called the Sentinel Hawk. Uh, or, sorry, Centennial Hawk. It's badly worn exterior, peeling paint and the smell of burnt... Smell? Uh, smell of burnt wiring and cheap oil. These words describe the ship in a nutshell. This model was created during the times of major human expansion into space. Cheap repair parts, easy and high quality assembly became the winning arguments for humanity's fast evolution, who showed exceptional adaptability to harsh conditions. It's the only ship we get, so we're gonna start off with it. We have John. Uh, oh my God, I, get a, I haven't actually realized that I could change names. So we have our renegade admiral. He's pilot. We have item, or item, Adam, the hyperdrive operator, and we have Grace, the engineer. So I'm going to put Adam in control of the ship for majority of the time, um, even though John's the pilot. Uh, these two will just be chilling in the bridge for the most time. Grace uh, is going to be chilling in engineering uh, until uh, things go awry. Which uh, Thomas, you want to you want to take a bet as to when that's going to be? After shaking off another Venator patrol, you're trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear that there's a bounty on your head. It'd be a good idea to find a safe place until the dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows best how to go to ground. Uh, so we're going to go to Something's Up, uh, our, which is our current quest. Um... Okay, so yeah, let's talk about it, uh, these controls a little bit. So uh, we have management, which allows us to um, add energy, um, like add upgrades, is what I should call them, um, to our reactor. So uh, that's actually the easiest thing to do, is to add energy uh, that can be added across your ship's systems. Um, these also all have the ability to do that, uh, but they cost... Um, uh, what do we call them? <sighs> scrap. They cost scrap. So uh, my next upgrade can be in like 90 seconds. Um, <clears throat> sorry, 90 scrap. Uh, we have 50, so uh, I could buy energy there or we can redistribute. And sometimes this is actually cheaper than using the um, stations that are in the game. Uh, we can also manage our crew here. In the cargo hold, there's different systems that we can install, like drones, uh, some stuff here, uh, med bay and stuff like that. So um, if we take a look here, our med bay is actually down right now, um, and we don't have enough money, uh, sorry, enough scrap to perform the necessary upgrades. So what I'm gonna do is, John, you're not gonna be the ship operator at the moment. We're gonna pull you off. Adam, you're gonna come up from engineering, and Grace, as much as I really love you to be in weapons, I want you down there. Uh, John, you're going to be in weapons, and there we go. Now everybody's happy. Um, so, John being the ship's captain, uh, not not difficult. What is this? I don't know what his ability is. Anyway, uh, so John will be sitting at our, uh, our weapons for now. So, Let's get off into space here. So we have some things up. An old friend will always help you out. Now, just to make sure not to lead any Venatars there. Um, so this is part of the roguelike experience. And I feel like this is the difference between FTL um, and this game. I don't remember FTL having the choice between multiple like paths to go into your quest. I could be wrong on that, but I just don't remember that. Anyway. Um, so this is where the roguelike aspect comes in. Uh, you're gonna have um, random events that pop in in order to uh, fulfill what happens in each one of these jumps. So um, if we go to Marfic, uh, it tells us that the fastest way is through Saf and then uh, Yed Prior over to Marfic. Um, so we'll do that in jumping. I haven't run into 
many enemies on the first jump, so it'd be pretty cool to see. Um, traveling through the system, you stumble upon a planet beneath a strange glass dome. There is peace, tranquility on the planet, and the inhabitants have no idea that spaceflight even exists. Maybe it would be best not to disturb them. Uh, we'll explore from the outside. Upon examining the dome in detail, you realize the ancient Atari installed it, even before meeting humans. Apparently, this was how they were trying to learn more about humans before they could venture into space. So weird. Uh, we get some valuable data and bounce. So we've got food. Naturally, we have food. I No, well, uh, maybe. It depends. There's a couple of them that come in where it's like, the choices are not um, a benefit. Oh man, having the station right there is gonna be huge, huge for us. As you fly through the system, you come across a trading station. Usually you can exchange resources or buy something cheap in uh, such places. You fly to the station without a second thought. Maybe this time you'll find what you need? So yeah, we're gonna just use the shipyard really quick um so this is where you can pay to have those same upgrades um instead of buying the upgrades here i'm gonna kind of prepare uh we should have a teleporter and i think a drone module those both are gonna cost us two energy down the road so i'm gonna do that and then I really want some EMP rockets. And I really want some Mastiff rockets. Because they do far more damage than these things. But the nice thing about these, and I'm actually the only reason why I'm hanging on to them, um, they, they, they are actually speed fire. They're pretty quick to, to load in. But... Uh, the other options we have here. Okay, so yeah, we traded. Uh, we're not going to upgrade anything. We bought our modules, which is awesome from Leon. Thank you, Leon. And if we wanted to be reckless, we can hire somebody, but we don't have the money. So uh, instead of hiring anybody, we're going to bounce out. And we're going to go flying again. This time we're going to Marfic to get our first quest out of the way. This one's pretty lengthy, so let me take another sip here. On your way to the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there is something wrong here. The stations are silent, no ships in view. You notice strange emissions on your sensors that emanate from a waste of recycling module. Um, where is everyone? I need to find Ronnie in this whole mess. Stat! Uh, we're gonna send the engineer over. Uh, you send an experienced engineer to figure everything out on site. The engineer walks you through the station along its tunnels describing to you strange triangles on the wall. Later he finds a Tykerton. Tear Tykan. Tear Tykan. Tear Tykan. That's gonna be hard for me. Uh, in an irradiated location and brings it aboard. All right, so we got some scrap and some food. Uh, the asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. Answers are hidden inside Lucky Ticket. According to the signs on its body, its number is 213114, it will be hard to turn on. Half of its brains has burnt out. You need to find someone who can restart it, despite the ban. It would be nice to find a ty tear Tykan uh, that has already reconsidered its life. It looks like you'll need to go to a pirate station. There's no place where you'll be able to find a ty tar uh, tear Tykan which can turn another robot on for money. Phrasing. Phrase oh God! Oh God, John! John, you can't die. Uh, go over here. Adam. What, guys? Guys, like, what's happened? You had all this time. Um, okay, let's see where a quest. Oh God, it's back this way. Great. Uh, we, okay. Can you, can you please fix the station? 
Oh, we don't have... Oh, we can't... Mm. <clears throat> this is not good. Oh, Grace, get out of there. Okay. Oh, God, Grace. Grace, no! Grace! Grace is knocked out. Maybe, maybe Peril dead? Maybe we can save... Can we save her? I don't think we can save her. I think she's dead, dead. If John dies, we're, we're done. Can you breathe out there? Oh, great. You can breathe out there just fine. Um... Shit. Please fix the hole. <laughs> Everybody's dying on board. Uh, I need a medic. Mm -hmm. Come on, Adam. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Well... We stayed there too long? <clears throat> Shit. Alright. Uh, nothing in the- sorry. Nothing in that opening- Nothing in that opening, uh, quest dictates really anything worth- I know, Thomas! Uh, your sensors are picking up a strange signal that's too diff difficult to decipher its structure, but you can trace its origin. A mysterious signal in the Atari sector? It could be a trap. Do we go to the trap? <clears throat> Let's go to the trap. The source of the signal is located in the center of the sector. The long flight following the scanning signal is exhausting. But as you approach your destination, you get a view of an ancient station belonged to the first Atari. Such stations are very rare now. You dock and explore it. We have found something edible and some fuel. All right, that's actually, oh good. That's, mm. <clears throat> mm. Okay. It, it, this is literally the exact same as uh, each time. So as we get past certain parts of the, the quest line, I'm just going to skip it just for, for sanity's sake. And uh, yeah, we're just going to make that work. Hopefully this isn't... Oh, wait, no, this is an asteroid. Oh, no, it's a nebula. Okay. <clears throat> a pirate station. They're usually disguised as being uninhabited. Did, wait, did we get to this part before? I don't think so. If it hadn't been for your old connections, you would have had to look for it much longer. Approaching the station, you begin to feel a sense of adventure. The station is in chaos. Gambling, forbidden pleasures, illegal goods. Somewhere in the mess, you you must be... Oh, somewhere in the mess must be the ty Terror Tycan hacker you are looking for. But where to begin your search? Uh, I'll talk to some smugglers. The local smugglers are quite outgoing. After the exchange of government, they are or they were liberated under an amnesty of any past legal problems. One of the Raki smugglers invites us in. You approach the trader with caution. You've heard that Rocky. Rack, Racky, Rocky. I, I, I'm gonna go with uh, Racky, Racky. <clears throat> become more sociable and accommodating when they are away from their king and, uh, kin. But you keep your hand on your holster nevertheless. Come, come, good friend. Uh, Raxon doesn't bite. I'm an honest Racky trader. <laughs> Jesus. A regular exchange. You give me something, I give you something. The Racky explains to, no to you how the trade is done and calls it surprise mechanics. You buy a weapon at an absolutely bargain price. However, you never know beforehand what weapon you're going to get. Let's buy a surprise. You buy the surprise and get your weapon. You ask the Raki uh, where you get the weapon. 
knocked into shape and learn the address of an experienced terror tycan mechanic. Ooh, plasma turret. Okay. At the address, you find a workshop of an old Titurkin. God damn it! Uh, cheat playing Red Dragon Inn in the board game. We need to play again. Yes. Yes, Kiki. I've literally been saying this to a couple of people. Maybe we call a community night next week. Community night next Friday. What am I doing next Friday? Oh, it's the 20... Mm. It's the 29th. Wii Sports comes out. Maybe after some board... After we get bored of Wii Sports. Or before. We need to play Warhammer one day. Heard it's really fun. Uh, you, you mean Warhammer 40k Dawn of War? Or literally any other actual board style Warhammer? <laughs> yeah, dude, the new Wii Sports comes out. Sorry, Nintendo Switch Sports. Anything works for me uh, till the end of May, then I'll be moving? Okay. All right, Kiki, I will... I will take that under advisement moving forward. Because I'm pretty sure I can get Goot. Last time I talked to Goot about it, she was on board. I would have to talk to a couple people. It wouldn't be hard to do, though. I think we could get people. I bet we could even get Cirrus to join us. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, at the address, you find a small workshop of an old Terror Tycan. He immediately figures out why you're here and demands a pretty penny for lucky ticket. Uh, Ronnie's out there somewhere and he needs help. Should you really pay this greedy piece of iron or should you try something else? We're going to send the engineer in. Your engineer is shocked at the price. He raises some good arguments and proves that the repairs can be done much cheaper. The Ty... Ty uh, Terror... Tykin reluctantly agrees and offers to help for next to nothing. Uh, just got a job, so probably couldn't play. Cody, I'll, I will work around your job. I will work around your job, but congratulations to you, sir. Everybody, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Game, pause for a second. Pause for a second. Come on. Webcam. There we go. See? See? Okay. <clears throat> Everybody, can we get some people claps, some dicks? Hell, can I even get a Cody in the chat? For Cody, congratulations on the job, sir. Good for you. That's awesome. I need to hydrate. Do I have to? God. I hydrated. Everyone redeem a hydrate to celebrate? No, 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 no. <laughs> this I demand. I, uh, I wish I could give Twitch points. I legit wish I could give Twitch points. Okay, another hydrate. <laughs> I don't think Thomas is going to make me hydrate. Oh no, my finger slipped. Oh no, did I do that? I guess you're gonna have to hydrate, you dehydrated streamer. Boo-hoo about your feelings. Look at that. Oh, Cody. Cody, why'd you lose points? That's not how that works. That's not how that works.
I think it's just cheats. I, I think it's just cheats. I could be wrong. Damn, now I have to pay back debts. I don't think that's how that works. Um, Kiki, I know if you go... I know if you go to streamelements.com slash cheat117, it shows up on the left. And it does connect you into to chat still. Um, I don't know if it counts as a view, but apparently it might. Okay, um, lucky ticket bounces back! It tells you about the events at the station. Two Venator ships enslaved almost everyone there. Anyone who resisted was killed on sight. The lucky guy regrets having committed suicide. The thought that it feels regret about a successful suicide sounds odd. However, it didn't want to lose its memory unit, so it chose to burn itself in the recycling module where no one was likely to stick their nose in. Popo. What a name. Uh, oh, and everybody's leveled up, so... Um, we're gonna go with Lucky. Um, you get reduced damage. It's almost like I'm anticipating that we're gonna get screwed somehow. Um, lucky Ticket, you can... Yeah, actually, Lucky Ticket goes up there because Lucky Ticket's also a hyperdrive operator and is a higher level than our other hyperdrive operator. Mm. And we have some scrap, so increase that. And increase that. Oh, wait, we can't do that. All right. So now we have one power to the med bay. <clears throat> and now where's our next ticket? Okay, uh, through double double, but we'll be good because we can make it to Menkaib or Menkib. All right, so head of Hydras. New round, so gonna lurk. Good luck, Kiki. Good luck. Oh, it is points. You're right. God damn it. I'm stupid. Oh well. I blame Thomas. It's Thomas's fault. Uh, you stumble upon a strange ship. It is no different than the usual ones, but it seems hostile. You guessed right. The ship suddenly attacks you with no reason. Prepare for action. Oh no. Uh oh. They're they have an oxygen module, so uh, we're gonna fire directly on that. Um, and we're just gonna just keep going. Hopefully we can hit. Uh, I do need to just pull. All right, we're just gonna run. You destroy the enemy ship and teach them the lesson. On second thoughts, if no one survived, there is no one to teach a lesson to. I don't think that's what happened, but sure. Sure. You gotta get, oh, Cody. All right, man. Hey, dude, seriously, congratulations. I'm proud of you. Uh, all right, Cody, have a good night. Upon arriving in the system, pieces of asteroids and clouds of space dust, uh, space dust, blur your sensors. You peer into the mist and recognize the, oh wait, this is the, oh wait, yeah, okay. Uh, you recognize the contours of a USG class miner. It was thought that these ships were destroyed in the federal clearance operations. You were in awe to find such a rare thing and try to establish contact with the ship. However, an enemy missile explodes only meters from you, bringing clarity to the situation. You bring your weapons online for battle. Shoot them in the nuts. Um. There is a there is a, a captain and he is human, so that means we fire on the oxygen module. Hey John, can you go work on the, the sensors that are dying? That'd be great. Come on. 
Oh, I didn't go to the station. This might this might be a, a rough battle. I should. Mm. If we can disable the oxygen, though, everything else becomes easier. There we go. Full breach, no oxygen. They're knocked out. But their med station still works, so gotta fix that. But now nobody's operating anything, so boom. Boom! Ooh, a mining cutter. Then it's a laser, so we don't have to pay for rockets. I think it's one energy too, dude. Nice, sexy. Um, okay, on to the next sector. Thomas lost three thousand points in roulette. And now has a lot of nines. I think you misplaced a little bit there, Thomas. The silence in the first. Uh, <clears throat> the silence in the first system of this sector relaxes you. You reminisce about the good old days, but reality quickly brings you to your senses. There are venators on the sensors. Best hurry so you avoid running into a patrol. What is gonna be the fastest way there? Through, all right. There's a battle going on in the system. Suddenly you're attacked by an unknown ship. Well, I think we're just gonna, I, I think I've given away what my strat is, so. Rest in pieces. We're out of ammo on the rockets. Which means we're probably only gonna be able to break down the shield. Oh, and I can't change out the weapon in battle. Oh, why was I holding on to that still? Thumb. Come on, Adam. So that might that might save us a second. An Atari ship needs help, or do they want us to think they do? You need to stay alert. You find the Atari ship in a sorry state. It has been in a battle with pirates or someone worse. Someone from the ship is trying to contact you. Uh, yo, what's up? Uh, a human pirate contacts you. Surprise, you're about ready to. Oh, surprise, you are just about to ready your weapons for a battle. He starts telling you some sob story about boarding an Atari ship. Apparently, they almost succeeded, but the Atari didn't want to surrender. Instead, blew up the pirate assailants, damaging their own ship in the process. He asks you to evacuate them from that rust bucket. All right. Uh, oh, and so we got his his uh, Rocky, Ra Racky. Where the Rackies coming at? Uh, what are you, Mr. Ray? You're a weapons operator! Great! Okay, uh, Adam, are you the, no, you're the engineer. Get back to engineering. You can chill out there for now, and John, you can go and be a, you know, back, backseat driver. Um, in the meantime, in the cargo hold, we got some weapons. We're just gonna do that. See how that affects our power situation, actually. And then, uh, oh, we should fix the hole. That's expensive. Uh, why does it have to be expensive? Uh, I would just want to build more weapons. Uh, The Venators are right behind you. It's gonna be a tough fight. Uh, shit. I spent too long in here. Can you? Oh, balls. Uh, 
they have much well they don't have as much all right i should be okay we just spent all that scrap upgrading so you know i think i should damage that first if we can damage the med bay enough then they can't heal when they're in there and then if we what the hell get over there John go fix the shields Jeez. all right so we got 25 scrap for that and that kind of sucked How much? Ugh. Basically just have to do this. Okay. No! Oh my god. Another destroyer class. Fantastic. Okay, Adam, get in there. Uh, yeah, you're fine. All right, as long as everybody's focused on something important. Um, I'm, okay, since we're actually able to damage some of it, we're just gonna damage it that way. God, we gotta run. Just keep firing. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my lord. Uh. Yeet. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. Uh-oh. Hello? Game? Game? Is it like, no, you're too dead for that? Main menu. Continue. You know what? I'm gonna take that auto save. I'm gonna take that auto save all the way to the bank right now. Flying through an action packed system, you discover an old ship in poor condition. But you don't see any raiders in the vicinity, the ship hails you. Who are you? Get the hell out of here if you want to live. My name is Popo, and this is my ship. The vanguard of the grand fleet of the most beautiful lady in the universe. I'm waiting for my friends, children of Trigon, just like me. You try knocking some sense into Popo. What kind of name is that? But he flatly refuses to talk to you and attacks you. No! Popo, why? You accidentally happen upon some pirates craving, carving up their loot? Stolen from local colonies and stations. They are quarreling about how to divvy up their bounty. Uh, and you ask and ask you as an experienced Venator how to decide. Oh, to decide how it should be divided up. Uh, divide equal. You suggest the best possible. Pirates arguing and bickering die down. You easily divide the bounty between everyone, and you get a small part for your help. Oh great, we got scrap. Fucking The game does not want me to live. Ow. 
the, the, the. Oh, I can't put it in there. Anyway, ball sacks. Go take care of that. Grace, go take care of yourself. John, you have to. We've got to run. Jesus, we need more weapons. Yeet. Uh, check the source of signal. You determine the coordinates and charge the hyperdrive as you enter the system. Come on! Buddy! This is Captain McBullshit! Ugh. We're about to die. We're, we're so dead. We're so fucking dead. Why? What ability do they have that I don't? Shit. That one got hard, dude. Stop, Thomas. Stop it. Stop it. Um, okay. Uh, I'm trying to get as close as we can to this without burning out so quickly, but God, it's just murderous. During your flight, you encounter a distinguished looking ship. Its hull is seemingly made of crystals and minerals. The captain hails you, introduces himself as a Star Order Crusader. He asks you, what's the most important thing a Crusader needs on their vo voyage? Honor or weapons? Honor. Once you lose it, you can never get it back, says the Crusader and ejects something from his ship. You find what it was. It turns out to be a load of scrap. While you're trying to fathom the meaning of it all, the Crusader disappears from your sensors. Uh, I don't care. Dude gave me scrap. Okay. God. Why? Uh, that. That. <sighs> it's like for every second you're in there, you lose like two health. So. Bounce out of there, repair the ship with scrap. Oh my god. Grace. Oh, John, no. There's a massive breach in the hole! Come on. 
Jeez. Grease. Yeah, um, well, I need fucking stuff to work for that. To shoot the engines. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Wait, wait, no. Uh, why? God. This game just doesn't. This game's just like, no. You don't get to live today. Just no to you, sir. Oh my god, why aren't they on auto fire? Okay, hold on. I gotta pee.
Okay. Sorry, guys. I am back. All right. We begin again. Um. Let's not die this time. <clears throat> Great. We're being attacked. Okay, auto fire. <clears throat> oh my god. I really hate it when ships do this. I don't want to wait around to find out if I can beat him. Okay. There's a slight bug there. I'm not sure what that's about. On the way to the asteroid belt, it becomes clear. Blah, blah, blah. It's the same story as before. Okay. Pirate's done. Back this way. Here is what I found. Stop! Look at the Wikipedia. Microsoft... My Alexa decided to tell you uh, something that it had listened. A pirate station. They're usually designed to, uh, the, yeah, same thing. Okay, so we talk to the smugglers, everyone's all happy and joyful. We talk to the guy, we buy a surprise. And heavy EMP blaster. At the address, you find a small workshop of an old tear Tycan. Uh, he, and then we got the lucky ticket. He wants to overcharge us. We get it for free and we get Popo. Hello, Popo. Um, shield operator, Adam. Oh, wait, swap. You go up there, you come down here. There we go. Everybody's happy. Uh, avoids taking damage. Avoids taking damage. Um, the other thing. Since we're here, I want to do that. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. A day has passed, and now we need to go to this one. So we're going back. To, we're going over to Mira. I think, uh... Mm. Break through the dome! Uh, this is different than the last time we had, Thomas. You decide to break the dome. A volley from your weapons cracks the dome and causes it to dissolve into the atmosphere. The inhabitants of the planet did not expect to discover that there was life beyond. They thank you and offer some services for your ship. Wow. Ugh. All that scrap we just wasted. All right, here we go. I have faith that our team of people will actually make things work. So here we go. Uh, okay, targeting those. Oh my God, that didn't work like I wanted. Damage that and then you damage that. Who brought these freaks? Wait, uh, if I do, where's the, the thing you just, close all, close all. And then, I can't take away the power to that. Okay. I'm gonna run for a second because I'd much rather go fucking deal with these guys in a room somewhere um, so we're just gonna turn, like, I'm gonna open up all of our doors. Great. I'm glad that they went shopping. Fucking... Open. Oh my god. 
John, run. I know there's intruders, and I can't fucking deal with that right now. Um... I'm in a pickle. Uh, warn the pirates and fight them instead. Oh, we took some damage. Uh, okay. Here's the problem. I don't want either of them to die. John, you need to go and help fight. No! Can I select both of them to go in and deal with this? Stowaways are on the ship! Yeah, I know, dude. That was like the best possible. Sir, stop dying, please. I'm trying, Thomas! Look, we. we we lost the shield operator, I won't talk about that. But we got people stuck on the ship, man, I can't... Oh wait, I can't do this. Get vented, bruh! Like, no joke, that was the majority of the problem. I wish I could move him. That could have been me. Okay, there should be enough. There should definitely be enough oxygen in there for them to fix. God, I need more people. Okay, everything's back up and running. I'm gonna add one more energy so we can finally have fully happy and working things. We have got to find, um, I don't know, we just gotta find like some, some stuff around here. Uh, the nearest casino station, which you plan to bypass to avoid getting into trouble, is asking for help. They're paying good money. So you turn turn around and approach. 617676 welcomes you. Codename... Kruier. Krupier. Our nearby branch requires a new stock of playing chips. Sending a delivery request. Okay. Where do you need those? You need those from there? Okay, we'll go back the way we came for you. <laughs> okay, Thomas, so... You want me to be a dick for the rest of this life, Thomas? Okay, so now we're going out Anka. Or Ancha? You approach the casino station. They haven't contacted you yet. Should you notify them of your arrival? Thanks for the delivery! We are constantly experiencing chip shortages. Bloody pirates have flooded all the systems. I do hope they I do hope the new rain will send Venatars our way soon. Uh, I am ready I am already submitting your reward. Great. Credits. That's what I wanted. Uh, when you arrive at the destination point, you notice a drifting pirate ship. It notices you back and starts getting ready for battle. Why can't you just have a nice day? No, we're gonna just destroy your ship. I'm tired now. Damn it.
Grace, get on that. <sighs> okay. We're kind of fucked. This makes us not as screwed. Left us in a good spot. Okay. Grace, go back to the engines, then let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. On to our big bad fight again. And we're getting low on rockets. They, they teleported their dudes, but I don't know where their teleported or teleported dudes went. Oh, we got him. All right, we got another Thunderbolt rocket launcher, which we're gonna go sell, and a Retribution rocket launcher. Level four, that that means that it needs four power cells. Oh, great. Uh. Oh. Yeah, you're not, you're probably not gonna be on the bridge anytime soon, Grace. Sorry. Uh, sure. You can be a master engineer up there. That makes my life easy. Um, hey Grace, go fix the shields, please. There we go. No, oh, I probably should have stayed a day to heal. All right, now we've met up with Popo. Oh, I should have thought about that a little better. Uh, oh, I see. The ship is badly damaged. Maybe we should leave. I like that idea. I don't think it's going to happen. I screwed up. All right, Thomas, you can add another death. It's when we get stuck at Popo, man. Okay. We're going to find the pirate station first. <laughs> Are you taking notes now? Thanks. Um, as you approach the planet, you receive a message from a research station. They ask you to transport several small animals from the planet to their station. Uh, the creatures look harmless in the photo. Sure. The animals are far more aggressive. <laughs> you take as many as you can to the station, but damage to the cargo hold is inevitable. At least you got paid. Ugh. That's not great. Uh, as soon as you enter the system, they want to kill you! The system is no exception. <laughs> and a couple of enemy shots, uh... Okay, whatever. Just murder them.
Oh, they're done. Oh, they're done. You win your battle. It was tough, but you're used to it. You gather valuable resources and continue the journey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, we can buy one. Oh no, we can't. Oh, we can't even buy that yet. Come on. Okay. Go to Hadar first. You always want to try to get the early one, and then we can, like, fly around. Okay. The, yeah. Yes. Great. Continue. Continue. Great. Okay. Don't care. Damn it. I didn't want to take damage while I was in there. You inspect the nearby stations and planets. It seems that many... Okay. Uh, we got a whole breach there, so... That's only 42. And now we've got that for the med bay. Now we can go over here. Two. Okay. Way to go, Grace. Man, Grace is awesome. Oh wait, actually Grace, no, you, you, you stay in med bay for now. Adam, you come up here. John, you come over here and be weapons boy. <clears throat> um, there we go. Okay, Grace is going to go back to engineering. Um, and there we go. Everything's great. Um, okay, in the cargo hold, we had an extra blaster turret. And we had these. So now we've got those all done. Done? Done? Done. Um, okay, so that will need an extra power. Man, if only we had the, the thingy. Let's go to Peacock. Excuse me. When you jump into the system, you witness a strange situation. The Venator ship has a target locked the old station, except its flags belong to the defunct Human Federation. The station commander hails you. He introduces himself as an admiral and calmly describes the situation. Greetings, traveler. Don't worry, it's just an abandoned Venator ship with the patrol beacon. We use it to keep Venators out of the system. Shall we have a chat over a mug of capacitor fluid? You briefly describe your adventures. Without a second thought, the Admiral provides you with aid and passes word on to friendly stations. After all, humans are supposed to help each other, right? Good luck to you. Yes. Upon arriving in the system, you see an unmanned Venator ship. Wow. Just, just wow. Oh great, we can fly. Yeet. We have a fire now. <sighs> I trade the system to feed our poor colony. I offer a good exchange rate for resources. Okay, great. That's a... Uh... Maybe just assume our fires are out. Mm -hmm. Grace, can you go take care of that? And then Adam, I'm gonna have you take care of that. And meanwhile, I'm gonna go to the station. Okay. Yeah, I just wanna, I really just want to make sure we have enough food, but I also want to do this. And then I think we'll have enough food also. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. And back to the ship. 
Grace has done her parts. Adam's done his part. John's gonna go back over here. Shields will come aligned eventually. <sighs> I'm a dumb. I'm a dummy McDummerton. Hold on, station. Hey, station, do you have any scrap? Oh my god, you do. Great, you can have all of those. Alright, we can have six. It's not a lot, but it's more than what we're able to deal with right now, so. Okay, Grace back to the engines, and uh, we got enemies now. We'll do reduce damage, because we have the heal stuff, and I'll do lucky on you, because movement speed doesn't really work. Um. Yeah. I don't like this. Maybe that's the play. I know, like, EMPs would be better, but... If I was able to EMP, I'd be able to take out, um... I'd be able to take those ships out super quick. All right, here we go. This one's gonna suck. This is this is a sucky one. Uh, okay, John, go take care of that while we're busy. Uh, that, and I'm gonna do. John. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, where's the captain? Okay. Uh, well, that's good, at least. Mm -hmm. Well, the intruders are gone. That's good. Um, we're kind of screwed right here. That fight is gonna suck. Uh... Really? Yeah, I know we're on fire. Thanks. It's fucking. So that's the only downside is when the captain dies, the whole game's just done. They're like, we don't know. He never told us. Weapons. Okay. Grace over here. Adam up there. Adam. Adam up there. John back here. Excellent. Now we're real humans. <laughs> Thomas, there's not much you can do when you fly into this system and it's like I got a better idea you're screwed we lost Adam got Eve and Kohora well Eve you're a pilot John's a pilot guess John's being the pilot oh sorry sorry Eve I didn't mean to put you into a coma or anything 
strange how you'd assume that you could just come aboard there, but that's okay. We don't We don't we don't do mean things to people. Uh okay. Um Ooh yeah, Tigerton. There we go. God fucking Did not want to lose my, like, any health already. Okay, will that fix the hole? Probably not. Okay, one of those. One of those. And... Yeah, we'll do that for now. Oh, it's not attacking me, that's cool. Oh, it never actually triggered that that was an enemy. Sweet. I'll take it. Uh, we're low on fuel. Um... Oh my god. Oh, I just realized this needs to hit that. We need to fire at that before it's used. Oh, great. Okay, everybody's hungry. Oh, we've got some food now. Um, 100, 100, 110, okay. Um, so we're gonna set this plasma turret here. And that should allow that to be used. Grace, I need you to, I, I know it sucks. And now we can do this. Grace, I think you can handle it. You've, you've done so well so far. No more hole breach. You've done well. You've earned yourself rest. Um, okay. I'm gonna go down to Horman. I'm a whore, man. Wait, what? Uh, you stumble across a well-armed ship bearing pirate colors and see their captain on the bridge with an evil grin. They're getting ready for battle. Grace! Uh, what are you? You're a shield operator? You can go chill in the shields. Oh. That. And that. If we can damage the oxygen enough, that just, like, kills the game for them. Oh my god. Fine, just shoot the engines. <laughs> Yo, there we go, let's go. You destroy the ship and grab everything you can before leaving the system. Yeet. Get yeeted on! Um, okay. Other than he being really hungry, we are out of rockets, too. God damn it. Yeah, that's... Okay, this works out much better.
beautiful. Oh, hey. Wow. Oh, I just took an in, uh, power away from the engine. That's fine. Um, I, I did want to go here. I think it's time to sell off the uh, the rockets. Let's see here. Um, if I give you the rockets, that what is that? Plasma area. Heavy plasma cannon as opposed to a plasma turret, but I don't want to spend like my whole lot on that. I'd be happy to have Ragnarok rockets instead. Uh, I think, I think we just do this. I think we just buy out all the food and all the fuel that we can afford, and then I want the oh god. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I just bought two units that I don't have power for. Oh, wait, yes we do, because I got rid of one of the thingies. Oh, but it's the engine thingy. Uh, yeah, no, we got this. This will work. And then we got enough of that to go around. Oh, dude. We're banging. We're banging. Okay. Now we're now we're set up for success. Plenty of food. You decide to land on the planet a couple minutes after your arrival. A mysterious signal resembling an encrypted Terror Tycan message. Uh look for the source of the signal. Probably should have switched on the local. Cool. Like, oh yeah, I know that guy. Uh, you can be a Hulk, sir. Uh, I'm gonna give you assault armor. You get assault armor. You get lucky. And the captain also gets lucky. Okay, you're a shield person, you're an engineering person, and what are you, Eve? You're also a pilot. Well, too bad. We don't have use for them pilots. And, uh, there we go. Beautiful, all right. I put that wrong. Destroy the weapons! Oh, I hate this. Hey, are you alive in there? Healing up good. Okay, there we go. And down this way. Am I breaking more games with hacks? No! Not on purpose. Another ship wants to get a good haul of your cargo. You have to give them a battle yet again. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm hacking it. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a great hit. Yeah, break, break, break that. Just, just break that down. Come on, guys, keep working. You can do this.
Come on. Uh, are you, uh, can't change? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, we had to turn that off so that we, we could talk to some people. Oh, they ran, those bitches. I was hurting too, but I was willing to let it last. A pirate station. They're usually disguised for blah, blah, blah. Talk to smugglers. Go to talk to this. Refuse. Okay. Uh, check the price with the engineer. Lucky ticket bounces back. All right. There we go. And lucky ticket is a weapons operator also. Cool. That's handy. Because he's also... A weapons operator but he's a better weapons operator so you just go heal you can come heal you go take care of that it's not like you're really helping anybody I should send her to be a teleported person once okay uh, you come over here and you uh, I don't know go take care of the sensors or something Um, okay, so we gotta go up there. Let's go take care of some ships. I'm feeling a little ballsy this run. Um, ooh, bounty level three or higher. Deceive both clans. Um, it's total anarchy in the rock, Raki stations again. Getting a face full of plasma is quite common here. There are two clans dividing spheres of influence on the station. Both are offering you jobs. Take the offer, refuse the clan's offer, or deceive both clans. I think we're gonna deceive both clans. In a way, you are a rascal yourself, so you quickly understand the situation the clans are in and successfully manipulate them to your advantage. It only takes you one day to become much richer and you leave the station. Yo. Uh, I'm sitting at just above a half mil rubles, as if I just started. I have both scav junk boxes almost full. Shit. Most of level one hideout and some gear meds. Nice, dude. Yeah, you're, you're wrecking house. Um, I'll let you have Master Gunner. What do you have? Weapons Expert. Okay, so already doing the Weapons Expert thing. Okay, go handle that, please. Hey, Eve, go deal with the oxygen. Um, yeah, I think we're going to fly out of here. That's my... My goal is to at least hit the uh, the popo thing again. We'll accept the signal and we'll take them to the station. There we go. All right, cool. Upon arriving in the system, you find, okay. I hope you understand we're out of food, so you are likely gonna be dead. Oh, hey, you're already on fire. What do you know? Grace, I need you to come over here. Actually, Grace, I need you to fix that. Why didn't the sprinkler system go off? Oh no, oh no, John's on fire too now. John, why are you on fire? Everybody, everybody's dying. Yo, I like that. Okay. Close those so they can repressurize. Grace, you may return back to your position. Eve, you may return back to your position. 
And oh no, that Atari. That waste of food goblins. God, our bounty's almost a five. This is not gonna be great. I'm definitely down for some dorms march room running lunch though. Just thought I'd stop in and give you the update before I head to bed though. Good love. All right, thanks man. I will hit you up um, when I'm free tomorrow. It'll probably be late at night. I don't know when. I don't know when, but I'm just letting you know. Oh, she just adds the levels here. We just need to provide the energy for it, whereas the other one provided the energy level and not the level. So if I had spare energy to give, I could make that work in my favor. Ugh. God, I hate good games. How they do everything so successfully. Um, okay. We're gonna be in like two fights back to back, which is gonna suck, but whatever. Let's do it. Some people are hungry. Uh, except the engine. Okay. It agrees to help with the life support. Uh, it quickly fixes the problem and explains the, situ the station's residents what the issue was. Their nerdy talk is beyond your comprehension, but it returns with the supply parts for our ship. Great. Upon arriving in the system. God. There we go. Uh, hey, John, I need you to go heal. Uh, we got some Ragnarok rockets and okay, but everybody's hungry. Uh, you can have steady hand. All right, John. Time to go. Jeez. I wish I could add like a replicator, but that would obviously defeat the purpose of the game. Please let me, please let us go. Oh my God. It's great. It's a good thing we have a rocket launcher. Oh, someone just passed out. Oh, they're dead from hunger. Oh, that sucks. Teleport to enemy ship. Oh, oh, Grace. Oh, Grace, no, Grace, Grace, run. All right, well, they're just gonna die then. I'm just gonna let them die. Uh, okay. Take half their crew with me. Let them die in the cargo hold. Oh, you bitch. John.
Get back there, handle that. Oh, John, go live where there's oxygen. I had, I have no idea how this is not working. Uh, lucky ticket, go over here. John, you gotta get the pilot moving thing. We're so boned. John, what's it gonna take here, buddy? Damn it. Dude, I felt really prepped for that one. <sighs> I know. I know, Thomas, I know. You're just you're just rumming it in, aren't you, Thomas? You know what? It's early enough that I think I might be able to get away with it. Oh, of course it's the mining vessel, though. Come on. If they can't breathe, they can't shoot. Man, they're like, they're picking that up so fast. Okay, redirecting some changes here. Let's put everything we have into that. Oh my god. Yeah, just break the shields. Break the shields! Come on. Clearly, I am outgunned here. be back we'll be back with chat um good we weren't hit Uh, is this an unmanned? I think it said it was. Yeah, that'll... Okay, this is something that we can manage. If we hit our shots, it's something we can manage.
Damage the shields. Come on, one more good shot. There we go. Okay, I need to tell myself. Shields first, then we can damage everything else. If we don't damage shields, then we're not gonna get anywhere. That's, yeah, okay. So we're here. A day passes. Uh, I'm gonna swap that out for that. And we're just gonna hold on to our situation here. I think we can go back in this way? I don't know. Oh, it's two, isn't it? It's two. God. Can you drain out of oxygen faster, please? Yeah, that's what happens when you piss me off. I just kill your people. All right. Adam, go handle that. Grace, you're doing a great job. And now I need you to go deal with, uh, deal with that first. Adam, focus. Come on. Their ship's done. <clears throat> start targeting the engines now since there's no shields when there's no engines and now there's going to be no weapons it sucks when you fuck me over silly game we were all fine everything was going great much as we can. Increasing the ship hull integrity. There we go. All right. Oh my god, hit your shots. Oh, because we're leaving the sector here. That's why that's working out in our favor. I want to collect scrap for it. Yes. A day passed. Can you go over there, Grace? Can you, like, heal? Poof. Yay, we're alive. Everything's great. Okay. Um. All right.
Grace, can you take care of the, the shields while Adam and everybody's healing? Thanks, Grace. You're doing great. Nah, we're gonna save the scrap. Because we've now made quite a little bit of money here. And we've cleared the boss early, so... We're gonna take that for what it is. And fly around in here. We're gonna protect the colony! Oh, we got hurt. Upon arriving this... Oh my god. There we go. Stop hurting us. Please give me a lot of scrap. All right, great. So we can heal. I can heal a lot of damage or we can risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> that was stupid. That was a dumb thing to choose. Maybe we can get some scrap out of somebody else, though. Oh my god. Uh, John, go handle that. I think the trick is identify what type of enemy you're dealing with. If they're machine, then we can't really use the oxygen method. But I can create enough of a diversion that if we destroy the oxygen on one and focus on another, they can't heal. And so if we destroy the med bay at the same time, No! Oh my god! That was mutually assured destruction right there. God damn it! Could I have run? Maybe. to find a way around to get to this the asteroids that we need to uh... okay I think rockets actually do have a place in this world no Adam 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 oxygen <sighs> fucking lasers Yeah, the rockets are definitely penetrating right through into the shields. Okay, so the rockets are worth it. If we had rockets, maybe we would have survived a little longer. I'll say it, chat. So that way no one else has to. Grace, get down there. John, get... You know what, John? You come and fix shields. You're useless to us as a captain. Your only job is officially to make sure the shields work. I'm hereby demoting you as captain of this ship. Uh, two... Uh, okay, great. Ow. 
Now there's a hole in the ship. Is that what you wanted? John, stupid. Uh, you remember how, okay. Fly straight into a battlefield, except that this battle was over long before you were even born. The system is a memorial. You see old Federation ships and their rebel enemies. Venators preserve history with care. You're trying to remember how the Federation won, but the engines are already charged. So you clear your mind of all thoughts before you jump. Yeah, let's get at it. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Let's yeet! Oh my god. Ugh, Grace. Oh my god, Grace, don't die. Jesus. Okay, John, you gotta breathe and come this way to fix this. Adam, you gotta come over here, bud. Uh. Uh. Oh, fuck. God damn it. As soon as I turn off power to the med bay, everybody died. All right, last one. Last round. Then I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit. God, the worst part about this is this game's so chill. And I feel like I just had like the round of my life earlier tonight. And I just, mm -mm. just didn't work. Oh my god. Just... How do they damage that? Was is there a railgun on there? There you go. Let the rockets hit. Adam, you gotta deal with oxygen before we run out, buddy. Oh, oh god, he's dead. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, Grace, can you, can you like, I know you're alive, only kinda, but I need you to heal. I need power. We need power to oxygen. We don't need power to med bay when we're not in med bay. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why did we have to die so many times? Dude, Iron Man just is rough. I, I feel this one's probably a bit. I like. 
it's only rougher because the battle just immediately happens. Oh great, Solar Storm. I know we're on fire that like you shouting that doesn't help the fact that you're still on fire. John, go go charge things. God, this is like the bebop before Faye shows up. Everyone's just like, I don't know what to do. All we got is bell peppers and beef. Oh my god. Run. There we go. Well, screw it. Yeah! Are we still safe? We're still safe. We're good. Shields came back. Everything's great. Okay. Grace, as everything repressurizes, please make your way back to engineering. <sighs> Where are we going? Down this way. Uh, tell them an inspirational story. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at all the fuel we just got. That's amazing. Ah, <sighs> okay. Let's do that, and we'll do that. And... Oh. I used up too much scrap. Okay. Pirate engine, then, so we can pay some currency, get some good stuff. Uh, shipyard. I'll do one of those. And. That's what we're gonna do there. A bomb teleporter? Oh, and we have bombs. Um, I kind of don't want to drop this, but at the same time, money. Um, no, we're going to keep the rocket launcher, but we are going to buy some rockets. do two and some food okay I'm really banking that we're gonna pick up on some random hitchhiker situation again plus I know that we get one for completing main story Uh, 
Oh, they just sent two. John, get the fuck out of there. Stay on the weapons, John. There they go. Grace, because I can't... Because I can't let him die. What do we need a teleporter for? For when I decide to just beam over the uh, enemy captain. Because I'm an asshole. Way to go, Grace. Go heal up. Okay. On to our next location. Grace, can you return back to engineering where you're just like really awesome? Pirate station, okay. Smugglers, this, that, this. Refuse, this, that, this. Engineer, this, that, this, this. Yay. What are you? Weapons operator, fantastic. Just what I needed. Um. Okay. We need to go to this one this time. So we're just gonna go right through people this time. I have I have a, a terrible feeling about this. Yay! All right. Oh, there's just absolutely no shields there. Stand down. Can you, like, go fix the, the shields, Grace? Oh my god, can we just... I can, and I can. There we go. Now when we get our next thing to add on, or if I find another... Uh, item I want to swap out, like, I can just... Or we can do that. And now we can load in our Mastiff rockets. And the time it takes to go to the next area, we can just murder some people right off the bat with our Mastiff rockets. Uh, help the pirates. There they go. They're gone. Goodbye. Um, I have a massive hole breach. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. I did not realize how far you can zoom in on that. That's cool. Okay, um, Grace, you gotta, oh wait, Grace, you actually need oxygen, so you go that way. And Lucky Ticket, you don't need oxygen, so you just handle everything. Is that, was that literally the only reason why that was depressurizing? Grace, you can go back in the teleporter room. Alright, like you take it, go out back, handle that. These robots are so powerful, I love them. Okay. 
we gotta go up here so we can go to the next area. I've got two thermal bombs, and thermal bombs are more focused for damage on the enemy ship, so... Fuck. Lucky ticket. I need you to do your job. Oh god, Grace, please live. Uh, oh, shit. Right, we're not firing continuously. Do some damage and shit. Oh my god, go. Oh, I hate this thing. John, get over here. Start repairing oxygen. Oh my god. Destroy the weapons. <laughs> this is a race to see who can kill each other faster. Oh my god. Miss, miss, miss. Oh my god, it missed. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Grace! Jesus. This is bad. This is so bad. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do Electrician because she's worth having right now. Uh, there we go. You're officially always on the bridge now. You made yourself indispensable. God, just walking through there, he immediately starts dying. <sighs> wow. Just, just wow. That's all I've got right now. Go heal, John, because you can't stand no oxygen. Oh my gosh. Is everything healed? Everything's healed. We've lost our weapons operator. That's what sucks.
Grace, please go heal. You have done so much, Grace. Oh wait, can I teleport? No. <sighs> this is in the off chance that we can survive. over. Oh my god, Grace! No. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not going through it without Grace. No. Retry. Since I'm stuck having to redo this boss fight again... Oh my god, Grace. <sighs> this game sucks. God, this game sucks. Okay. I know what we're gonna do. Why? Oh my god.
Well... Dicks. Go handle that. Oh my god, we're gonna die. No. John! 